Hey there, okay, so now we're gonna talk about key signatures, okay? The definition of a key signature is that it's a set of flats or sharps at the beginning of the music that indicates a change of certain notes. And it's located right next to the time signature. So I'm gonna show you a couple of examples now. Okay, this first example happens to be in a tuba part and see how it has the clef and then it has what we call the key signature and then the time signature. In this case, it's a key signature of two flats. Okay, I'm gonna show you another example. This happens to be the Barry Sachs part. This clef is treble clef and it has a sharp sign. Okay, so in this case, the key signature would be one sharp, and then it has the time signature of four four. Okay, next, I wanna to talk to you about how we know which flat or sharp means which note, okay? So let's talk about flats first. We have our empty staff, and we have flats that go right on the line or on the space. If I drew a note right next to that, you would know if you read treble clef that that's an E. So that just became an E flat. Or if I just drew a note right next to that flat sign with the line cutting through it, that it just became a B flat. So when we go to bass clef, it's the same thing, but bass clef notes read differently. So the B flat goes there where the line, so if we had a note, if we had a B flat note, it would go there because this is the treble clef B and this is the bass clef B. And so the flat signs go in different places. It's the same idea with sharps, okay? So the sharps go in certain spots on the staff. It's the same business with the sharps. Once they write it at the beginning of the song, the beginning of the exercise, all of the F's and C's and whatever it lists are impacted by that. They don't keep writing the sharp sign. So let's say that then you have, okay, so we've got our time signature and your very first note is an F. It's actually not an F. It's an F sharp because of the key signature. So if I were to ask a student, what's the key signature for this song? The correct answer would be two sharps, F and C.